normally I don't do an actual tutorial for my modern day planner and just do a reel so speed things up and just show you how the planner ends up looking using some of our kits on sticker paper and making it into a modern planner design however we've started to do these I will find it gratitudes and boxes so I thought I would use my planner this week to do it as a bit of a gratitude thing using the pretty vintage boxes and you'll see that I've printed them onto sticker paper you can buy this paper from Amazon that is the brand I buy I have any leftover stickers I then use them in journals anyway so it's not a waste sticker paper is more expensive than good quality printer paper or copy paper so I don't do everything on sticker paper my actual papers for the journal with me videos are just on normal decent quality copy paper but I did do all the fussy cuts on sticker paper and any that I don't use in a planner or journal with me I will use in an actual journal so there's lots of different fussy cuts here I'll be cutting some of these up we've got these big gratitudes as well I might use that in the planner and then I'll take some of these and put these into the planner to decorate the planner so that's what we're going to be doing first things first I need to cut some things up I've cut up all the pieces that I probably will use on this week's planner and I'll start with the first few days I normally like to do a longer box of some sort in this section because it becomes my to-do list what we could do I suppose to make that a bit different is to do a list of gratitudes throughout the week do a to-do list here because I, I don't actually have that much that I know I will get done I could add a to-do list maybe a plain one underneath you're probably looking at that going when you've left nothing there for Monday I can put some extra stickers on there that will cover Monday and also I put boxes on and then something that appears to go under a Tuesday might actually be something I did on a Wednesday that type of thing I have tweezers because that tends to be the quickest way to get the backing that or a craft knife edge off the stickers have lots of decorative fussy cuts here I don't want a jar because we've already got a jar maybe the light this is basically what I do I start to build up I want something that I can put slightly over to make the Monday in case I, I have something specific I want to write into Monday and then rather than go straight into Tuesday's to do's I could add something that will cover that up. I want a slightly bigger image. The cute cat, for example. Maybe a blank square there. I'm looking to see what other boxes I have. I'm going to have a gap there, though. That's okay. I can live with that. We've got that white space. The rose and overlap it. I'm wondering about these. Today, I'm grateful for. That's a Monday. I can cut the days off though. I could put a gratitude box at the bottom of here. I'm going to cut the day of the week off, put something over here, a key. I'm not worried if I can read all that writing. I know what it says. Also have stickers that go off the page and you just trim them up. What you could do is where you're taking off these stickers is you could put them over your days of the week. If I don't want to go over that line, take a steel ruler and a craft knife and gently cut through that, pull it away to line it up with the other box. That's the first half of the week. I often like to do a decent sized box at the very bottom because that will be like a carry forward to-do list. This one I wanted up here. 
think I want the circle. What I might do is cut off that reason to be grateful today so that I can have a, a box without... Oh, I've got a box there that doesn't have lines. You can see how I'm stepping things at different levels. We have an I appreciate. I've still got that reason to smile right now. I might put that one so it covers that joining line and leave some white. I have a thing about cutaway shoulders and I like them hidden. Sometimes you can re-lift a sticker. I think I want to get a plain box down this side underneath the circle. That covers up a little bit of white. You can use your knife and feel your way round the edge of something. I do like that big bird cage at the bottom. Box with some lines. That works. And something small, the teapot. I feel like you need something here. The thing that to do now is to grab all the bits and pieces, but also I want to look at the balance of my pictures. Here I feel like I've got too much pattern. Here, because of the jar, that doesn't feel the same. I have more pictures on this side than this side, so something small either in this bottom corner or this top corner. So far I like that, I'm just not keen on this top corner, I still feel like I want something up here. found one that I'm happy with. This very square bottom bit here annoys me a touch. I suppose I could link like that. I'm going to call it a day because I can just keep going and going and going. What I need to do now is trim up edges and if I've covered up holes, recreate those. Some people do actually have the mushroom punch. I just go in and cut something around. Here's the finished article all trimmed up, holes cut back in, edges neatened up. I hope you enjoyed this modern approach to planning using the pretty vintage and I will be back with a journal with me next time. Bye!